this video lecture i will start first unit that is dc circuit in this unit you will learn about different types of dc circuit analysis of dc circuit but before that some basic concepts like electric current electric charge potential should be cleared so i will discuss basic concept related to electricity and electric circuit in this video lecture so let us start do you recognize this person thomas edison who invented electric bulb which is used for lightening purpose but bulb works on what it works on electricity not only this device but there are number of devices like fan refrigerator tv washing machine which all works on electricity and which you are using in your day to day life so question is why electric energy is widely used and answer is it can be converted into the other form of energy okay? also there are many ways to generate electric energy from other source after generation it can be easily transmitted and distributed so it is having many advantage over other form of energy so it is widely used as compared to the other form of energy now several theories about electricity were developed through the experiments and by observation of its behavior the only theory that has survived over the years to explain the nature of the electricity is modern electric theory so let us understand modern electric theory of the matter and electric charge so basically every matter is electric in nature every system is electric in nature which consists of particles like protons neutrons and electrons so atom consists of two parts nucleus and orbits in nucleus protons and neutrons are there in orbit electrons are orbiting protons are considered to be positive charged particle and electrons are considered to be the negative charged particles atom is electrically neutral it means it consists of equal number of protons and electrons if from an atom an electron is removed by applying some energy then there is more number of positive charge as compared to the negative charge so in a atom will be converted into the positive charge body if a neutral body is supplied with the electrons there occurs excess of electrons and because of that the body the atom is converted into the negative charge body the unit used for charge is a coulomb and one coulomb of charge is equal to charge on 625 into 10 raised to 16 electrons so one coulomb is equal to charge on 625 into 10 raised to 16 electron and charge of an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb now there are two types of electrons valence electrons and of uh, free electrons the electron which are in the outermost orbit of the atoms are known as valence electron and the those electrons which are loosely attached to the nucleus of atoms are nothing but the free electrons the atom is having number of orbits the orbit and atom is having number of orbit and atom is having depends on its atomic number the at electron which are revolving in the outer orbits are loosely attached to the nucleus are loosely bound to the nucleus and the electron which are in the inner most orbit are tightly bound with the nucleus so in the electron in the final orbit can be easily removed and this electron becomes the free electrons and free electrons are responsible for the current conduction so now let us move towards next that is electric current so to understand electric current here one copper conductor is taken the in copper there are large number of free electrons available but those electrons are in random in motion you can see the electrons are in random in motion so net flow through the conductor through at any cross section net flow of electron will be zero because of the random motion of the electrons now if we apply battery across the conductor then because of the external battery external force electron will may be moving in the one particular direction and electron will start to move from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery because electron uh, negative terminal of the battery repel the electrons so how we can define the electric current electric current is nothing but the directed flow of free electrons or charge because electrons contains the charge 
वी कैन डिफाइन मैथमेटिकली इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज इक्वल टू नेट चार्ज डिवाइड बाई टाइम दैट इज क्यू बाई टी कूलम पर सेकेंड और इट इज ऑल्सो इट्स यूनिट इज अम्पियर नाउ मोर इज दार्ज मोर इज द इलेक्ट्रिक city before the development of modern electric theory prior to that it was assumed that current flows from positive terminal of battery to the negative terminal of the battery and that is nothing but the conventional current so in this subject we will be always considering the current which is flowing from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery that is a conventional current now what is the definition of one ampere current the one ampere current is said to flow through a conductor at any cross section if one coulomb charge flows in one second at that cross section now how actually electron flows so negative terminal of the battery you can see here negative terminal of the battery repel the electrons and those electrons again repel the neighboring electrons and during this process they will transfer the energy from one electron to electron another electron and they push away each other and this way the electric current flows through the circuit and bulb can glow so this is all about the electric current electro current is flowing from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery and conventional current flows from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery now moving towards next thing that is electric potential what is potential so when a body is charged work is done in charging it this work done is stored in the body in the form of potential energy and that potential energy is nothing but the electric potential if two similar charges are brought nearer then there is a force of repulsion you can see both are moving away from each other if two these similar charges are brought place nearer then there is a force of attraction so what i want to say that the charged body has tendency to do work by moving either by attraction or by repulsion and the ability of charged body to do work is called electric potential so electric potential you can define as work done by charge you can see w by q so it uh, the unit used for electric potential is volt so another we can also define the electric potential in another way and the, for to understand the electric potential here you can see one charge is placed the charge is q that is a positive charge and you can see its electric field now another charge is there which is at infinite distance it is also a positive charge and it is at point r now these charges move from point r to point p both are positive charge so there is a force of repulsion repulsive force is there so charge is moving from point r to point p again this repulsive force of charge q so some work is done in moving this test charge from point r to point p and that work done in moving positive charge from point r to point p is also known as electric potential now moving towards the next one that is potential difference so to understand the potential difference here i have taken the example of water tank so here you can see there are two water tank which consist of equal amount of water tank a and tank b and which are connected by pipe now the question is can water flow from tank b to tank a the answer is no why because both are at same height both are having same amount of water but water can flow from point b to point e a if there is a height difference so you can see here now tank b is placed at higher level at as compared to the tank a and because of this water will flow from point b to point from tank b to tank a so when water is flowing when water is flowing from tank b to tank a something is there that is nothing but the some factor is there that factor is nothing but the height factor between these two tank similarly if electron current is flowing so similarly if current flows from one point to the other point of the circuit 
there should be some factor and current flows from higher potential to the lower potential and the factor because of the current flowing from one point of the circuit to the other point of circuit is nothing but the potential difference. So, potential difference is a difference in potential of two charge body. We can suppose one conductor is there and conductor there are two points point A and point B. Suppose we have taken the two charge body A and B and both are connected. So, current will flow from which body from A to B or B to A? Current will be flowing from A to B because the potential of body A is plus 5 volt and potential of body B is 3 volt. So, charge potential of body A is high as compared to the potential of body B. So, current is flowing from point charge body A to charge body B. Now, what is the potential difference? It is a difference of potential between the two charge body. So, the dif potential difference between these two charge body will be VAB is equal to 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 volt. So, this is all about the potential difference and, it, and this is a factor because of that current is flowing from one point of the circuit to the other point of the circuit in electric circuit. Now, next one is EMF energy and power. The first one is electromotive force. What is EMF? The answer is lies in the name of the EMF that is a force. Any substance cannot move without force. Similarly, if electron is flowing from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery, there should be some external force and that force is applied by battery. So, we can define EMF is nothing but the force required to move electron from negative terminal to the positive terminal of electric source in electric circuit and unit of EMF is volt. If a battery is a EMF of 4 volt then what does it mean? It means that it supplies 4 joule of energy to each coulomb of charge. So, basically EMF is a force which because of that current is flowing in the circuit. Now, what is the difference between EMF and potential difference? When we apply a battery across the conductor, then current will start to flow in one particular direction. When current will flow in conductor, there should be potential difference across the conductor according to the Ohm's law. So, what is the difference between EMF and uh, potential difference? EMF is a cause and potential difference is a effect. Both are measured in terms of volt. The next one is a power. So, basically power we can define the rate at which work is done in electric circuit is nothing but the electric power. Rate of doing work is also known as electric power. Unit of power is joule per second or volt or we can say uh, mathematically we can define P is equal to W by T. Now, what is energy? The total work done in electric circuit is called electric energy or ability to do work is called energy. If energy is there then, then and then we can work. So, we can define energy in simple way that ability to do work is energy or we can say total work done is as I told you total work done is also known as energy. Unit of energy is joule or watt second or it can be also measured in kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour is nothing but the one unit. So, and one unit is nothing but the 36 into 10 is to 5 joule. Now, different equation that you are going to use for say uh, calculation of the example are this the equation of energy is W is equal to P into T where P is equal to V i. So, we can write V i t, v, we can replace V is equal to I r according to the Ohm's law. So, I square r t or V square t uh, V square t by r. So, these are the different uh, mathematical equations that can be used for uh, power consumption for energy calculation where W is energy, P is power and T is time. So, in this video lecture you have learned about the different concept basic concept related to the electricity. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.